Hello, welcome to today's webinar. Thank you for joining. Uh, my name is Rob Lipson. I'm the sales associate here at Lightspeed. Uh, we just want to do a quick disclosure here before we get started. Uh, please keep in mind that this presentation is for informational purposes only. Nothing presented today should be construed as investment advice or a recommendation to buy, sell, or hold any specific securities. Since we do not know everyone's investment objectives or risk tolerance, we're not endorsing any specific trading strategies. We also encourage you to ask questions as we go through the presentation. You could do that by typing them right into the webinar chat box. We'll try to answer them as we go or certainly get to them by the end of the presentation. Uh, this presentation will be recorded and uploaded to our online webinar library. You'll be able to see this one as well as most of our other past webinars at lightspeed.com slash webinar. If at any point during the presentation you missed something or want to go back and reference it at a future date, you could always access it through our website where it will be archived. If you ever have any specific questions about what you're seeing, please feel free to contact us directly at sales at lightspeed.com, visiting our website uh, www.lightspeed.com, where you could request a demo of the platform, and you could also visit the Trade Ideas website as well, which uh, Dan will be giving more information on as well. So we want to hand it over now to uh, Dan Merkin, the Senior Management at Trade Ideas, and let him um, take it from there. Thank you very much. I'm just going to switch him to the presenter, and we will uh, get going here. Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Dan Martin. I'm the CEO and Senior Managing Partner at Trade Ideas. And uh, some of you probably uh, listened to my webinars before. and We've given a lot of, well, not a lot, but several different discussions on how to utilize our technology in combination with uh, Lightspeed. So for anybody who's new to this, let me first start by saying that Lightspeed and Trade Ideas are partners. And anyone with a Lightspeed account that qualifies to have access to uh, the Lightspeed trading platform receives automatically for free trade ideas and trade ideas, artificial intelligence, odds maker technology. So again, if you are a Lightspeed customer, you get this for free. There's no uh, barriers, there's no, nothing for you to do, no credit card to give, it's just a part of your already, uh, uh, part of your business services that Lightspeed provides for you. So why does Lightspeed and Trade Ideas work together? Well, partly it's because we think, we, I mean, the two business sides believe we combine to create the best of uh, the market experience uh, scenario where Lightspeed's tools and expertise are providing the cheapest commissions and the speed to execute really allow you to navigate the market around the way you need to to be successful in today's market. And where Trade Ideas comes in is we help you find what it is that you should be looking at. So let's talk a little bit about the very beginning of trading. I mean, most of you, if you're with Lightspeed, I mean, you might have some experience, but even for the ones that don't, Let's start with just a high level of concept that in order for you to learn to trade, you typically first have to start, and there's the first trade, and you make an inference from it. Hopefully you learn something. Hopefully you were able to do the right things. Then you move on to the second, then you move on to the third, fourth, and so on. I myself started trading in 1995 when dinosaurs ruled the earth and uh, big, big fat monitors were on all the desktops. That's all that I am. Um, and I learned through what we call the process of bloody noses. And through this knowledge is how we created many of the tools and trade ideas. Obviously, we've been doing it since 2002, so we've been in business for a very long time. And the thing that we find that helps traders the most is an ability to really understand why it is they're getting in a trade. So going back to what I mentioned before about why is it that you're getting in a trade, again, when you're learning uh, through the process of uh, by elimination. In other words, you do something and then you see what's going on. 
you know, it can take you a long time to go through something like 284 trades, and it's certainly going to cost you a little bit of money. But as technology has gotten better and better, what Trade Ideas does is we try to create a computer environment that simulates most of what traders look for and that allows you to test those scenarios in ways that you've never seen before. This is what you're seeing on my screen right here. And just before I get any further, um, could somebody just let me know, make sure they're seeing the whole screen? There's basically three elements that you're seeing. One window of averts, or rather the history of the signals. There's this thing called the channel bar that we're going to talk about. And there's this uh, curve that's showing you a strategy that I'm demonstrating for this presentation. So is uh, everybody again hearing me OK and seeing things OK? OK, great. So these are signals. You know, something happens, our attention is brought up to LEA, WUBA, JMEI, and MNK. How did I know to just have these one, two, three, four, five, six, well, it's five stocks because this one appeared once. How did I know to look at these five stocks today? Well, here's how I knew. I let the Trade Ideas computer system go back over the course of the last 60 days and find what combination of filters came together with an algorithm we call breaking above resistance or crossing resistance that made it possible so that when the stock first broke above it, it would be higher than that price 30 minutes thereafter. Let me show you what this looks like when you do it. Here's the strategy. Everything you see here is on uh, West Coast time. And again, don't worry about this because at the end of the day, we do all of this for you, but just so you can kind of see it. Start trading 15 minutes after the open, um, and then stop trading in the early afternoon on Easter time or uh, later evening, uh, later morning in West Coast time. Hold it for 30 minutes, get out if it goes against you, 75 cents. I uh, simulate the buy, and it's the same window that you see here. So this window shows me that I had 284 possible trades, and I had for every $33 loser, I have a 57, I mean 33 cent loser, I have a 57 cent winner. Strategy return of 25% and projected annual return of almost 600% on uh, required equity uh, buying power of 213,000. So unlike a lot of other things, you know, we focus on the real elements of building strategies, so we factor in commission. So you can see that, you know, if you're paying $16 a share, um, or more like a, a big premium firm, and you were trading the same amount, you just couldn't do it. I mean, again, you can see how commission really starts to factor in, and your whole scenario changes. I mean, obviously, it's unrealistic to pay $51 for a 300-share trade, but we're just showing you that you can model and really understand the impact of what's going on on your business cycle, so you can see what what kind of room do you have to work with? Because again, every day is slightly different. We model in slippage when we build these strategies so that we guesstimate that whenever we get in or we get out, we're going to be five cents worse than the price you see here, or rather here. So this is what we do. We create strategies so that you have more access to information that's kind of better filtered, better uh, diced up, instead of just going by what you think or what you feel or what you see on social media. Um, all of the data for the strategy is also available to you. You can see you did really well on the 13th. You can double click on it. Well, you can drill down into the trades and see, well, which stocks did you get in? Why did you get in them? You know, you don't win on every trade either. And this kind of uh, concept 
we think is really the right way to approach trading as a professional or as you know anybody who wants to create ROI because otherwise there's a lot of guessing going on. You know, you can guess about earnings, you can guess about products, but the computer systems that we work with, they don't guess. You know, they just use mathematics to come up with what works best to make money on your type of time frame. So this is again, this tool is called the Odds Maker, and this Odds Maker technology, which normally costs eleven hundred dollars, is something that you have access to um, with your Lightspeed account through Trade Ideas. And obviously, you know, I'm showing this to you because the key is for you to be able to really open it up and explore, so you know what kind of power you have in front of you. There's really this is not a trade station type of setup. This is something called event-based testing because again, here notice the computer traded the alert, not the symbol. We didn't create you know a system that magically knows where Apple is going to be every earnings or uh, trades you know the MACD on a stock uh, like Google. This is a system that works really with trying to discern in a much broader swath of statistical data what is and is not working and again tries to help you with it. The best part of it is that all of these things that you see today, I mean and this is the key to show you again, you know, uh, what power we bring to the table and what's in front of you if you use it. Notice here on the 20th, this is today. This day is blank because none of these trades have hit yet. All this data is processed in our overnight routine. So tomorrow when we when somebody looks at this strategy, all these trades and their winnings and losings will be recorded in the strategy. But this is what's called out of sample data. In other words, we did not have access to this. All these trades could have been losing trades because that's what happens sometimes. Is that obviously like on a day like the twenty eighth, I mean uh, here or on the twenty first, or on the sixteenth, or on the eleventh, where you know you lost both trades and it's a losing day. So these things happen, but the beauty of what we're presenting today is as we're building the strategy, we simply just let it run today, and today we turned into a pretty good day for it, especially on MNK at $70. Uh, that caught over a point. So the key is there's nothing that's preventing you guys who have access to Lightspeed accounts from getting access to this technology and getting one-on-one -on -one training from Jamie Hodge, our director of education, on how to use it and how to set up and how to build a real trading plan, a real strategy, so that you're not just sitting there, you know, throwing darts in the wind, but are actually using numbers to support your trading thesis. So that is the first part of our presentation. It's the odds maker. It's the part that says, hey, you can model almost anything and you put in risk parameters and whatever time frame you have, whatever buying power you have, and you can create a strategy and best of all, trade ideas will help you as well. So that's the first part of, of our presentation. The second part, and again, this, this webinar does not need to be long for you guys to get the idea. Um, and obviously you've already, already seen most likely that we've had webinars about the automated trading. Like, so you can take this strategy and then you can turn it on so it will get into these signals and get out all through the Trade Ideas Brokerage Plus, which connects directly with Lightspeed and lets you execute all the buys and sells. So again, this is all available for Lightspeed customers and we can take you through the whole hand-holding concept there. So I'm going to also, this video is being recorded. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to switch topics now to a different part of our presentation. And again, if there's anything you missed, you can ask questions. Some of my support people are in, in attendance, and they are uh, helping to answer by providing links and, and recording this uh, presentation. So I'm going to close these two windows. You can always get back there if you need to. And I'm going to show you something else, which is. The second part of trading is, of course, discretionary. So we all know that no matter what kind of a system you think you have, 
uh, and how great it is, you're still going to want to do things on your own. And the question is, how do you find the most interesting information there? So we just recently released a new way to navigate trade ideas, and it's called the Trade Ideas Channel Bar. Okay, so at the very top, you can see what channel I'm looking at. There's an on next to it, and I'm looking at winners. So this channel shows me what's up the most for the close, uh, what's up the most for the week, what's up the most for the month, the year, and since January 1. And you can also, of course, drill down by simply clicking and looking at important uh, information for the stock, like fundamental data and various key metrics. What we wanted to do, and I've said this at previous presentations, is create a situation where you're doing less configuring and setting up and letting our professionals take care of that for you. So in this winner's page, again, we provide an immense amount of information. We show you social data. We're showing you how much things are up or down from their 200-day moving average. And again, everything that we say here is explained to you by our director of education or whoever takes you through a one-on-one -on -one training session, which, you, which is for free and can be had for any of you uh, if you choose. So all of this data is there, and this lets you see who's really winning, why they're winning, and various other things that, that can help your discretionary trading. But clearly we said, well, that's not enough. We've got to be able to steer you to what really is important and at what time. So let's just take you through a tour of the channels so you can see what's available. So you, everybody clicked on the winner's channel. That was the first one. We have the second channel. It's called social media. Again, very similar. You can see which stocks are up the most with very high social mentions, which stocks are down the most with very high social mentions including other data like where they are for the year and, uh, and things like that. There is a stream of real-time alerts that keeps you poised on what's happening. And Nokia, 16-minute low. Uh, Repro's Therapeutics um, made a high unusual social mentions on negative sentiment. So again, probably we reiterated some of this. It's being talked about poorly um, and going down at the same time. And this window is showing you how the bullish and the bearish tape plays out in this, um, in this particular channel segment. You can leave these channels as is, or if you want, they're, you know, depending on what you want to do, you can always add some more information. So for example, um, we have the score cylinder. So for any table, like you see, that has a T on it, so here we have a social volume radar. In other words, we're showing you which elements just had the most social and the most relative volume together. Okay, and here's their symbols. But if you talk about change from the close, you may want to know, well, how is this table doing overall? Now, there's a lot of information there. So once again, here you can see that if you rank them by change from the close, there's 60% are positive, 40% are negative. So this gives you an idea of which way the wind is blowing and how it all is playing out in terms of the largest movers and with percentage and with volume. So that's your social media channel. Now you have your pre-market channel, which gives you, in the morning, is a great way to start. It shows you all the pre-market alerts, um, show you what's gapping up the most, what's gapping down the most. Again, it just gets you ready. You can see that it's on. Um, if you want to see what's weak, same thing. You press on the beaten down. Um, if anybody knows who these two people are, you get extra prize. Um, but again, it's the same thing. It's kind of like a mirror image of the winner's page, but here you get to see what's down the most with other important data points, more important information. But, you know, anything Brango, you can just click on it and look and see what's going on. But it's the same thing. What's down the most today, the week, the month, the year, and since January? If you're a bear, we want to make sure that you have, you know, the appropriate data sets in front of you to make the most informed decision. So that is the beaten down, or rather beaten up. could be called beaten down, and the name would still work. Um, now we have the sectors, so you can at a glance quickly see what's going on in the market. 
you know, are the sectors up or they're down? Here's how we broke them down into the more interesting ones that people want to see. And again, the beauty is you can see the cylinder scores at the bottom, so you can quickly see the construction is down, the computer design more negative, but pretty much everything else was positive. And depending on what you're interested in, again, you can resort it by other elements in the group and see if it makes sense for you to get in. But quickly, right away, you're able to discern strength or weakness from the sectors. Um, earnings, fundamental data. So let's start with earnings. Do you want to see what's coming out with earnings today and is up for the day and what's coming uh, up with earnings and is down for the day? Here it is broken down in two very clear windows. And this is happening today, all focused on today. And here are stocks where the earnings is happening within this month, and they're up the most for the last 20 days. And here are stocks where, again, earnings this month, but they're down the most for 20 days. Notice, again, you have columns in here with important fundamental data, like earnings per share, uh, PE ratio, so that, so that you can discern more information more quickly. And also, Again, we think that to make a clear investment decision, you certainly can't simply go just buy technicals or momentum. There's just so much more to the game. It's, you know, playing just momentum is like playing golf with just a three-word, you know. Works in some places, but kind of gets tricky around the green. So this channel bar is kind of the same thing. Imagine each one of these is for, is for a different shot, you know. So this is an example of our earnings channel. And you can quickly go from channel to channel. So if you go to earnings, you have to get down. I see these guys are down today. Let's see if any of them are on the beat now. And you can quickly go in and see. I believe this one was. Um, so again, the idea is you move back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, fundamental data. You know, here we have stocks with the highest earnings per share, highest quarterly revenue growth. Um, a custom one that we made called Alpha Gems, where there's like a there's a several factors that come into these being sorted the way they are and why they are where they are that we think might have some potential for the future. And it's the same thing where you can just quickly click on it. You can either double click and send it there, or you can just type in a symbol CXDS. And it also looks my C X D C. I can't type. And again, see more of the information. But the emphasis is on having to quickly navigate to what is most comfortable for you. Here you have the penny moves. You know, there's nothing wrong with trading cheap stocks. In fact, there's a ton of alpha in them if you know how to work around them, you know, or why, you know. So here's an example of penny stocks of the most since January 1, combined with the most in five days, and uh, gainers and losers today. And again, we quickly add the cylinder score and do that uh, change from the close, and you can see that, you know, it's kind of fairly even today. And during the day, you see the multi-strategy window will start to give you more and more information. We also create and add new channels all the time. So this is kind of the starting point. There will be new channels that are popular, will stay more prominent, others will go away. Here's kind of several other ones that you have the ability to see. Here's the tech titans. So names that a lot of people trade and have some real strong familiarity with. Uh, Hewlett Packard, to Qualcomm, to Apple, to 3M, SanDisk, and so on. Uh, again, another example of sorted by which has the most unusual volume, and you can quickly add the cylinder score with change from the close, and you can see that the big tech names today were very strong. So that, that helps you again see, well, if your thesis is bullish, this will help support your thesis. Again, tech titans resorted, add cylinder, 
and there's the information. So this is just the ones that are uh, up and down the most from the close, and this is based on volume. So that's why these numbers are a little bit different. Um, you've got the uh, uh, overall market up in the top, so you can again see if you're playing in the in the wind or if wind is actually if the wind's at your back or if it's at your face. You can always look everything up. Just click on the single stop, and you can see here's Sienna Corporation. If you want to know more information, like what does Sienna actually do, you can quickly read it here. Another channel that we have is the active trading channel. So this channel is really geared for individuals who are going to be fairly active in the market. Um, the, there's a broader swath of information. Um, this window that's called Double Diamond, you know, it has things like 15 minute, 15 minute high and lows, so that there's just more information that's being fed into it. But the same kind of analysis where you can see if this data, the for the act of trading is so sorted by volume, then most of the stocks today in that volume were up. So that again, if you were working on this, I don't know why, how it was did that, but if you were working on this layout, I'm just going to sort it, then I'll bring it back. So if you were working with this information on this layout, um, on this channel, you would have the ability to see and understand that um, this is a more bullish type of a stream. So moving down, you have energy. Same thing. If this is the sector that interests you, you can quickly get to it, but you're not stuck there. You don't have to save anything to your layout. This is all available to you on any computer, whether you're at work or if you're at home. And again, you're always able to do a very quick score, say what do you want to score by, and here you can see. So even the energy was positive, but certainly not as positive as the volume tech tightness, but 57 to 42 percent. Okay. Um, a very popular theme has been uh, marijuana stocks that have been all over the market. And this is just an example of us trying to keep you abreast of things that you should know. I mean, we don't know if these stocks are like the Intel in 1974 or whenever Intel went public, but certainly we try as um, vendors of technology and, and listening to what the market is, we try to keep you abreast of things that uh, are impactful. And here is stocks that are in the cannabis business and how they are doing. Again, you can add cylinders. Um, you know, you can see what's going on in terms of change from the close or change from January 1. You know, that tells you a little bit of a different story. And, and that's the beauty about the kind of technology that we're, you know, bringing to the table is that you can really see and look at this data long term. You can look at it slightly shorter term. And you can do that kind of analysis um, really on any window so that you're, so that you have more insight than somebody who's just sitting there listening to, you know, a pundit on CNBC. We want you to have the best information, um, the clearest information, so that you have the ability to make the best decision. Again, anytime you're on a channel, you will notice that it moves to the top, and there's an on button there. Okay, um, the final one is metals. Same thing. More information. Uh, get to a sector that you like. If metals is something you like, you can quickly see it and make important decisions uh, if this is a sector of interest. So the, the high-level thesis of our presentation today is we cover you from both ends. We have the technology that can be the automated, uh, statistically derived strategy that looks at all factors at once and figures out what's working for your time frame but also for you to trade discretionarily, which we know everybody does, we also have the channel bar that allows you to quickly navigate between winners, losers, um, the entire market, or specific fundamental events, whether it's uh, specific uh, fundamental concepts 
or the earnings release. This is all there. It's the latest, the very, very latest link that allows you to download uh, TradeIdea's Brokerage Plus gives you full access to this uh, channel bar. Um, the Automaker is available, but if you need help with creating a strategy, you need to reach out to us, and we will work with you one-on-one -on -one and tell you what that entails. They're creating a custom strategy from scratch even is difficult. So that's one of our add-on premium services. It costs $250 per strategy like the one that I have showed. So um, let me, I'm going to bring that up real quick here. Bear with me for one second. So this strategy right here, um, if we were to have created this strategy for you, it would cost you $250, and uh, it made more than that today in one day. So, and obviously, again, that's not to say that it won't have losing days, but just to give you an example that it does work out of sample, and we work with you to try to keep it going. That's, that's what we try to do, put you in the better trades, give you a statistical advantage so that you can do more business with us and with Lightspeed. Um, Today's presentation, I wanted to keep it short and sweet. Um, if there are any questions, and uh, hopefully my partners have been answering them in the chat forum. When I concentrate on the conversation, it's harder for me to, uh, to see that. But I'm ready to hand the uh, uh, microphone back to Rob and uh, to anybody else at Lightspeed. I want to thank you all for listening in. That's why I want to keep it short and sweet. Remember, it's free. You have access to it, just reach out. It's that simple. One step can get you closer to the kind of alpha that we show here. Thank you again. Okay. Thank you very much, Dan. Um, everyone, uh, I hope you learned a lot here. See so the many different strategies and scans you could set up here with trade ideas. Please feel free to email or call us or trade ideas at any time. Uh, we are, are happy to help you and, and trade ideas is happy to schedule personalized training sessions. So please feel free to visit their website along with ours for additional assistance. Uh, like we said earlier, this will be up on our website in a day or two, so you'll be able to view the session in its entirety, and you certainly can call or ask uh, any questions here for us. So we'll just leave the chat room open here for another minute or two, um, and then anyone who has questions, feel free just to email them in.
since I've seen the question pop in a few times, um, yes, you can use trade ideas on a Mac uh, using something like Parallels as um, yeah, to run the Windows application. Okay, you can see here, this is the, the login screen on Lightspeed. You can go right on the upper left-hand corner in the stock scanners. We have the Trade Ideas download link right here, and this is where you could also access Trade Ideas support. So you would download and, act and log in directly through the login through the Lightspeed website. So it's very easy. It's, uh, we have it built in and connected for you. Alberto, uh, the minimum to open a Lightspeed Trader account, it's 25000 Alexander, it is free with the Lightspeed account. Don, you would just contact Trade Ideas and they, they would help you with setting up these various strategies. So you can schedule a personalized one-on-one -on -one or also go into their chat. and ask questions and, and support staff would help you out there as well. Hey guys, we want to thank you very much. Um, we're going to pretty much close it down now, uh, but feel free to use all the resources that we provided, review this webinar, and then also contact Lightspeed support or trade idea support, and someone will be more than happy to help you. So uh, thank you guys for attending, and keep a lookout for our future schedules of events, because there will be surely more to come. So thank you guys very much, and have a great night. Chris V, give us a call uh, tomorrow or, or contact Trade Ideas. We'll point you in the right direction.